guys, it's John. I'm up here in Kalispell, Montana, and I just wanted to show you my chilies that I've got going outside this year. Um, started them in January from seed inside because our growing season is so short, and just got them all repotted in five gallon pots outside. So let's take a look. I've got about 130 plants, 40 different varieties or so, growing outside my house. I'll give you a quick little walkthrough so you can see what I've got going. Got some space chilies over here, some dragon's tongues, some bohemian goats. I've got some buchalokias, or some people call them ghost chilies. Got some Thai red chilies, butch tea scorpions, carbarugas, carboneros, and baby jay's peach. These are cool if you're a grower. Uh, they're called lemon gem marigolds, and they put off an odor that keeps deer and other pests away so they don't eat your stuff. Got some yellow seven pot, got some kung pao's, and space chilies. You guys, you gotta try space chilies if you've never grown them before. So much fun. They produce these gnarly looking pods. Look at that one. Looks like it's tied in a knot. And some of them are just huge. These plants grow prolifically. You can hardly stop them from shooting stuff out quickly. Look at this thing. Isn't that awesome? So, more space chilies growing out here. I have, oh yeah, look at these things. They're everywhere. Some comet's tails. Total eclipse. And then we've got some Carolina Reapers. These are currently the hottest chili in the world, developed by Smokin' Ed Curie. Got some flower buds growing on those. Alipos, Red Lantern Habaneros, Calabrian, Bohemian Goats, Yucatan White Habanero, more space chilies. And these right here are my pride and joy personally. These are chilies from the Himalayas, from a little country called Bhutan, and a few from India as well. I collected these personally from chili pods in the markets. And I'm working on a book and a website that's all about these chilies and some of the spicy recipes that they use in that part of the world. And I'm putting it together because there are hardly any sources in English, any literature available on these sort of things. So, here's one of the pods. It's already turning black. It should be real hot. Some more over here. This is called a buoy delay. Little habanero, super hot type. Grows close to the ground. Very fun. And last but not least, I've got some jalapenos back here because that's what Americans know about, right? And some tomatoes. Make some salsa. All right, well, thanks for checking out my grow, you guys. I'll be posting updates as the season goes on.